So giving an answer of what you're going to do, you're not going to treat these patients, why you are making a diagnosis, it's not like that. You can anticipate probable complications for the genetic disorder. Maybe these genetic disorders are not treatable, but again, these are manageable in a better way if you know the proper diagnosis. Once you make the diagnosis, there are so many family support groups like Down Syndrome Federation, Organization of Rare Disease India, LSDSS, Cure SMA, Sarathi Pam, PAMAC, all these are parental associations for Red Syndrome, Fragile X. You have so many parental organizations. These families can join together. They, they can face their challenges together rather than facing them in isolation. Next slide. Treatment options are coming up in a big way. So though there are supportive care, like neurodevelopmental delay physiotherapy, inborn as a metabolism, uh, special diet, cardiac abnormalities, treat with surgeries, all these are treatment. Next slide. Next slide. Now, we, have, uh, we are seeing so many conditions. We are seeing proper curative therapies available. So enzyme replacement therapies for many lysosomal soil disorders like Gaucher's, Fabry, mucopolar sacrodose disease, all these are available now. Few of our patients are getting in spinal muscular atrophy, the 16 crore medication, the famous drug is available in India, Jolzen, Sma, Spindraza, the intrathecular administration, Rizdiplam, all these medications are available in India. And uh, uh, recombinant uh, alkaline phosphatase in hypophosphatasia, BMN111 in uh, achondroplasia, palavaratine in uh, fibrodysplasia, ossificans, all these medications are coming up. Once you make a genetic diagnosis and keep the patient ready, if some uh, break, breakthrough happens in treatment, they will be ready to apply and get the treatment. So once it is it has come and then you put the patient into testing, you waste so much of time, most of the time they may not recruit, get recruited in some of the trials or pre-medications also. Next slide. So recurrence risk prevention. Once you make a diagnosis, you can make risk determination in the family or in the extended family members. Do career screening, preventive options by prenatal diagnosis, pre-implantation, genetic diagnosis, donor options. All these can be strategized based on your genetic evaluation. It is worth testing and find out. Next slide. So next slide. Next. So recurrence risk of cancer, some cancer disorder, cancers also is a genetic disorder. Five to 10% of the cancers can have genetic predisposition. Not everybody, 90% will have sporadic cancers, multifactorial, but there are some clues, a recurrence in the family, familial clustering, young age cancers, uh, multiple cancers, all these are uh, some of the clues we get and we evaluate the patients with cancer. We fix the genetic diagnosis. We do better surveillance for the fam for that particular patient. There is a risk of recurrence. We will avoid that cancer risk by medications or early treatment. We will check the siblings, look for risk for cancers in them, and then avoid also. So all these can be made if you make a genetic diagnosis in a familial cancer. Next slide. So take home messages are genetic disorders not rare at all in India. And family history not always present. Only 80% 80, 80 of the families didn't have family history at all. 20% had family history. Regular care, no extra time and dedicated care is necessary. Not treatable, no. Treatment options are now available. These disorders are manageable, supportable, and quality of life matters a lot. Definitely, we have a hold on this prevention. So if you make a definite genetic diagnosis, we have the hold on the disorder. We can prevent uh, in next next pregnancies or in the family too, the recurrence can be prevented. Whom to test? Always the index patient who has a clinical manifestation. When to do workup? Always pre-pregnancy period. What we need is time. Of course, what families need is also time to arrange for money. And sick patients, anomalies, babies, death is inevitable. Store some DNA. At least so three to four ml of EDTA sample if you take and ask the commercial lab to store the DNA, that will help a lot. Next slide. Like in the family, in the uh, our life, the greater the obstacle, the more glory in overcoming it. We have great, great obstacles in medical field, particularly in genetics, is full of challenges every day. And we try to overcome it by so many methods uh, with the help of uh, the patients also and their motivation.